In the early morning, an AFU landing group deliberately dropped off on Cape Tarkankut in Crimea. After filming the video, the Ukrainian saboteurs retreated from the peninsula without attracting attention. The AFU have once again shelled the border areas of the Bryansk region. The village of Balaya Berezka came under attack. As a result of the incident, the power supply was disrupted. Russian troops have shelled Ukrainian military facilities in Dnipro region. As a result of the strike, a railroad junction, which plays a key role in the AFU logistics in this direction, was hit. The Russian troops continue their offensive in the Kupyansk sector. The AFU are putting up fierce resistance in an attempt to keep control of Sinkivka and Petropavlivka. Ukrainian units continue to shell frontline settlements in Donbas on a daily basis. Oleksandrivka and Donetsk came under fire, where civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged. Two people were killed. On the Vremivka sector, after prolonged fighting for Staromayerske and Urozhen, the AFU's advance has slowed somewhat. The enemy is regrouping, with Russian aviation and artillery actively launching strikes on its positions. In the Orykiv sector, the AFU continue to storm Robotyne. The fighting there has shifted to the southern outskirts. At the same time, Ukrainian units are attacking Russian positions to the east of the village. Ukrainian units once again attempted to land a sabotage and reconnaissance group on the left bank of the Dnipro River. The enemy group was detected and destroyed between the localities of Holopristan and Kardashinka. At the same time, the AFU continue to hold a bridgehead near country houses on Antonovsky Island. Pontoons are being moved to the shoreline, which may indicate preparations for a large-scale forcing of the Dnipro.